Peace, fam. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Great Ujima. I'm just putting up the links so I can uh, see what's going on. So I can let y'all know what's going on. First one is the Ngutu Saba Challenge. I'm on that right now. Doing it once again. Uh, feel free to join me whenever you want. Um, the second link is G&J Update because of how I'm doing the Goose Saba Challenge. I'm giving people opportunity to kind of track me so that they can see if it's something that they want to try. Um, the, the way I'm doing it is not the way that everybody needs to do it. Somebody just sent some love out. I want, I want to thank you. I can't see who it is. How you doing, Ja? How you doing everything? I hope everything is doing good. All right, so today on the video, we're going to talk about um, life care. Life care. New concept that came to me while I was thinking because we got our health care system. We got our, or they call it the health care system. They argue over the health care bill. I've been, that's been messing with my mind for quite a while now. And then we got the sick care system, where really that's what they do. They maintain sickness, at least from my perspective, right? Um, but then now I'm going to talk about a life care system. What is a life care system? We're going to talk about that a little bit today. Um, but first, before we do any of that, let's go on. Bring them out, 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 bring them out. All right, so we're going to start off, of course, you know, before we start pouring our drinks, we first got to go and get our water. Today, I'm trying to Evian, hopefully, if my, my daughters um, stay out of my bottles, I'm going to have this for uh, maybe two more days. And it says naturally pure source from the French Alps. I wonder if this is the same place where the same part of the Alps where Hannibal rode through and rolled down and on, you know, on Rome. Um, my glass is at. So now y'all know I'm experimenting with this uh, spring water. Because I understand spring water is the best. Well, I ain't going to say the best, but you know. We got distilled, we got spring, we got reverse osmosis, we got purified, and right now I'm experimenting with the spring. So this has calcium, magnesium, potassium, silica, bicarbonates, sulfates, chlorides, and it's neutrally balanced pH at 7.2. Alright, so we're going to go and sip on our water. This is a one liter bottle. I don't know how many ounces. Uh, I don't know how many ounces in the liter. Uh, okay, Google. How many ounces in the liter? One liter equals 33.814 U.S. fluid ounces. Modern technology, fam, is just incredible. So we got our, at least our 32. So come on, drink up with me, fam. Come on now. What's up, Brother Kwame? What's up, Sister Sheila? Listen, uh, Kwame, man, you was dead on with the pituitary gland. gland. I'm, I'm like, shoot. So now, the confusion. Oh, man, you never late. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we are on ancestral time. We are on cosmic time. You are a divine being. When you arrive, is the time that you're supposed to arrive. So I appreciate you even showing up. But so now, the confusion for me, as I as I stated yesterday, is so a whole. You know, Doctor Doctor Kelsey used to tell us about the third eye, which is the pineal gland. He called it the pineal gland. He actually calls it the first eye, right? Now, but there's supposed to be a point right up here, you know what I'm saying, that they call the crown chakra, but 
Sister Sheila sent me some information where they equated the pineal gland with the crown chakra. So, and, and then going through some of the literature, some of the stuff is just, so, you know, we got to do research. Now, but one thing everybody do agree on is that as we get older and all the chemicals that we got in our food, our pineal gland starts to calcify. We're going to definitely do a show on, on the pituitary gland. But, you know, now we got to work on decalcifying this pineal gland, working on it, right? All right, so... Drink your water. Let's get it. We got glasses here. Oh, pineal, right between the eyes. Um, the crown chakra up at the. It's it's like a little soft spot. The, you know how they talk about as a baby on the top of your head, there's a soft spot that's called the crown chakra. And in some cultures, they even crack that part of the head when a person dies so that the spirit can escape. Good morning, Miss Sheila. How you doing this morning? Um. So um, now, but the pituitary gland is exactly what you said is at the base of the brain and it's actually below the um the pineal gland so and i think they said it released something like nine hormones so i'm gonna look into that one too so but here we go we'll drink up that water hey you was thinking right i tell I, I keep on i you know we know your memory we, we know you sharp on that memory thing mr kwame so I'm going for my 32 ounces now this avion, I got to get used to this one. Because one of the things about spring waters is that they have um, a taste. You know what I'm saying? Now, avion is, you know, but, hey. Hey. It got some of the silicone stuff in there, which helps, you know, helps clean up stuff. And it's kind of natural. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing, Miss Sheila. So what I'm going to be talking about once again is a life care system on the on YouTube part of the show. I wasn't able to post up um, yesterday's show from, um, from, from our discussion yesterday because I was in a hotel. And I didn't feel like compromising my, my code in that spot, you know. Thank you for sharing, Brother Kwame. I got a question. Can an accident mess up your eyes? I'm just, you know, because it's like it's 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 been hazy for me lately. For the last, I mean, since yesterday. I'm I smashed them 32 ounces. I'm going to have to get used to this water having taste, man. I don't, I don't know. Look at that. Oh, okay. Wrong top. I thought I was going crazy. All right. So now, let's get these like, oh, I'm out of bitters, family. So I'm going to go get some bitters um, probably tomorrow. I got a little bit of original left from yesterday. So we're going to use that. We'll see how. Uh, let's see how. See how it's darker? It don't, it don't even take that long. It's not quite mature yet. You, um... A little bit browner. You can smell just a little bit of honey on it. But 
once you expose it to the air, it start maturing very rapidly. All right? But I just wanted to show y'all my glass. I got to go on and put it in my blue glass. Man, I got hustle. I found out how much this glass really costs. I'm out of ambrosia. I have to get some from you when you. I'm I'm back in town now. I will be. I will be. I will be bottling up. Maybe near tomorrow night. Um, I might be able to get some off tonight. I got a matter of fact. I got to fulfill. Um, some uh, gallon, um, half gallon orders uh, today, but I got to do a lot. I got to do some running around because I got to check on uh, some things. But once again, we're gonna be talking about life care. We got the medical. We got this whole medical fiasco. This whole medical system fiasco. Nobody has ever talked. To, uh, yeah, nobody ever talked about. You know how. And I know some people, doctors get, doctors pay too much. We got too many specialists. You know what I'm saying? We got too many, to, it's too many specialists and everybody's charging too much money. The Everybody's making man, money hand over foot, insurance company, medical professionals, and um, big pharma. All of them making money hand over foot. Nobody's talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's talking about reducing their their fees or reducing their costs or uh, uh, giving them um, a, a, some type of break on their student loans so that they don't have to be charging all this money, right? Now, this is the issue that we need to we need to discuss. Now, as a people, right? As a people, we need to establish our own, in a sense, system, and I'm calling it life care, right? Right? Because, because, as soon as we go to the doctors, man, they start trying to break our pockets, man. You know what I'm saying, and and it, and, it, and it breaks it breaks my heart to see what's going on with us because for some reason we have been taught and we believe that we are supposed to die old, broke down, and sick. When that's not how it is, that's more of a choice. You know what I'm saying, especially when you know there's no reason why any of us have to go out of life in a way that they've been showing us and demonstrating that we have to go off and go out in life. There is a proper way of going out in life. There is, I love using this word now, there is a culturally appropriate way to die. Right? Now, as Africans, we understand another, I love this word, we understand that death is, fearing death is culturally inappropriate. Right? We approach death with a certain level of respect because it is part of life. It's part of the cycle, right? And we understand that we are generational people, at least most of us do, because most of us don't, you know what I'm saying? So that means that we're coming back. There's a great possibility we're coming back into the same bloodline that we left out of, which means we have a big responsibility when we pour in libations, not only because when we pour in for the future, we're pouring for ourselves as well. It's kind of, it's crazy. So we're pouring in the past because we was in the past. We're pouring right now. This is where our power is. We're pouring for the future because that's what we're going to be. But, but, it's, you know what I'm saying? We understand as African people, we have a relationship with death, right? We understand that we cannot escape it, but we can extend our lives and live the best lives possible. This is why I'm talking about a life care system, Right? Life care. Who 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 take care of your life? You. You know what I'm saying? You have the skills. You have the ability to learn to take care of your life energy. Your ashe. To extend your life. Family, listen. There's no reason. We don't have to go out like they've been showing us on TV. We don't have to die like they've been telling us. Like I said, I mean, we be looking at some of our elders, man, and our elders didn't know. Our elders got, they, you know, they, our elders got tricked into believing that what they was eating was supposedly healthy. Because a lot of y'all old enough to remember when a lot of this food came out, you know, they would put um, vitamin A and B on there like it was really doing something. But now we go back and we look back at some of that shit that they was giving us and we understand that we was being poisoned. 
We don't have to go out like that. You know what I'm saying? Dying old and crippled and without a memory is not how we're supposed to go out. There have been, there is historical proof of individuals living a full and healthy life. And I'm saying, yo, we can have that right now. We can have that right now. That's what I'm talking about, life care. So that's what I'll be talking about on my show. So let's get this toast on. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for stopping in. Mr. Vaughn, I want to send shots out to you. To Mr. Sean King, I want to send shots out to you. So here we go. First, giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that great energy. We call that great force. We call the creator of the multiverse or the universe or whatever you, whatever you choose. We call that creator and we say, I shame and salute you or it. Or her, or however you choose to look at it. Next, we move on to our personal ancestors. We toast up our ancestors. We remember those individuals. Oh, I did that before you came on, Miss Sheila. But I do it for you. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right, so now we on. Our personal ancestors. We're going to lift up our personal ancestors. We're going to toast them. We're going to remember them. Right? Um, we're going to lift them up. Because they lift us up. They protect us. They guide us. You know what I'm saying? So we toast our personal ancestors. We toast those ones we know. You know what I'm saying? Our grandmothers, our grandfathers. Our, in some cases, our mothers and our fathers. Our aunts and our uncles. Um, our brothers and our sisters. Our friends and our cousins. Our aunts. I mean, our nephews and our nieces. You know what I'm saying? Throughout our whole family, we want to salute all those who have made their transition. We want to lift them up, and we want to toast them, and we want to remember them. And if you have your glass, lift up and call some names. And if you don't want to call them, type it up on the screen. I will call them out for you. You know what I'm saying? Call on your ancestors, family, because therefore African is being forgotten. That's why we generational people, man. Our people dope. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to call on my family line, Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Sarah Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Christopher and Fanny Ganson. Hmm, I did something wrong. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert and Tex, Sarah Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Ganson. Um, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Jr., Herman Brown Jr. Well, actually, it's Herman Brown the second, and then we, um, um, Alvira Brown, Gina Gaines, Jamon Jones. John Villar, my brother. Montague Pittman L. Um, Elder Harrison. No, Harrison. Elder Farmer. Elder Donaldson. Dr. Marianne Williams. Brother Nomo X. Elder Normal X, the Honor Ancestor Normal X, Sapet Ma Ra. Um, that's all I could think of right now. Is there anybody out there, one of the ancestors, y'all want me to toast? I do this every morning. You put them in now. If I don't get them now, I get them later. You know what I'm saying? Because your comments show up, and I write down your ancestors, and I run down your family line as well. If that's what you want. But it's best if you salute them. All right? Because we got to get back into remembering and saluting our ancestors and telling our children the stories, man, so that they know what they come from. You know what I'm saying? They know what they come from. You know, I, I just found out um, one of my, my great grandmother lived for almost 102 years. You know what I'm saying? And she was alive until 19, like, I think, was it like 97? I checked the paper. And I'm kind of hurt because, you know, I. I was too busy running around 
to even sit down and get some of that wisdom. We got a lot of elders going out of here taking wisdom with them. And there's a real truth when they say, um, when an ancestor die, when an elder dies, a library burns. Take time and start talking to your elders so that you can start passing on the story of your family down through your down through the family line. You know what I'm saying? This is important. Why? I want y'all to think about this family. I want y'all to really think about this. Right? And I, t I, I go through this all the time. There was a time where we would wake the name of child. We would have the child in the presence of trusted elders. And they would look at this child to see who this child was coming back through the family line. Right? So that they would be able to give the child the proper name. They would look for the characteristics of an individual. Or, or if this was a new and unique person, they would take time to name that child. Right? So all of us, when we come into this world, we come in and some of us are ancestors. Some of us are returning. Right? And the reason we need to tell the stories is so that we can remind our children of who they are and possibly click the memory so that they can get back on their task. So I want you to think about this. If, if we are generational people and we're returning, this means that we come back into the world with a certain level of mastery. So if I can remember or if I can identify when I'm young what it is that I'm supposed to be doing, it's easier for me to become a master. We need masters. We got enough of jack. We got enough jack of all trades. We need masters in our community. Um, Brother um, Kwame says, and thus those names that become family names. That's right. It's certainly like some of us. We got name. We got we got um, names in our family that are, are family names. Like for example, I got I got three Hermans in in the Brown line. Right now we got two Clevens. We got, uh, uh, actually, we got two miles. We got two and a half miles because Cleveland is Cleveland Miles. So Miles is my great, great, my grandfather's grandfather. Um, Cecil on my, on my father's side, I'm the second Cecil, right? But we also had a second watch. So we got generational names repeating over many, repeating over many, and the PC is, what we want our children to do is to be able to plug into something bigger than themselves, family. This is the problem. We're falling for the the mythos, the mythos that, that we're being told. You are a unique snowflake falling into the river of life. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We, most of us, have been here. And it's just a matter of us being able to remember. And let me go on. Let me say, because I know some of y'all be like, ah, oh, the reincarnation thing, that's cool. You ain't got to deal with it. But let me be clear on what I'm talking about, right? See, because I'm not talking about the reincarnation where you was a goat in the last life and a roach in the life before that. And all of a sudden, you made it to your karma allowed you to become a human being. I'm talking about we, we, those of us that understand this concept or those of that 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 deal with this concept understand that we are generation this means we come back to the same bloodline we come back to the same bloodline hence you would get somebody like an Amotep who would all of a sudden pop up and everybody be like multi-genius you know what I'm saying oh he was just born like no this is repeated lies where this individual was able to be reminded about who he was, what he did, and he was able to plug into a, um, a line where he could see the work that other people was doing. It was information passed down. Come on now. George Washington Carver. So, I mean, some of y'all got old souls in your family. That's what we call them. When you got a kid... A child that you look at and you have a conversation with and it's almost like you are talking to an adult. Really appears some of the of these babies are coming back, but with memory. And it's just a matter of us, see, and we want them to plug into the right memories. Because we gotta remember that life has its bitter, life has its sweet, 
Life has its sour. Life has, you know what I'm saying? It has its joy. And we want to make sure that we plug them into the right memories. Because if not, we're going to get trauma. You know what I'm saying? Some of us, I mean, it's almost like some of us are carrying traumas rather than the victories, rather than the wisdom. Yeah, they come back with memories, but a lot of them, some, a lot of these memories is fucked up. So when we're talking about being uh, um, generational people, and we're talking about plugging into our African ancestry, and we're talking about, you know, saying who we are, we need to make sure that we're helping individuals in our families plug into what it is they're supposed to be plugged into. Many of our families need to be, we, we actually are supposed to be more, we're supposed to be more established than we are. But now, we're breaking off and we're moving all over the country. So when a child is born, the child is not able to be in the presence of any elders that are, in a sense, related to, related to them, related to the bloodline, and that can help identify the child. All right, so, you know, um, we toast. I'm sorry. I don't even, I, I'm sorry to even get into that. Um, no, well, no, I'm not sorry, but, you know, I kind of got off the libation but now we move to this present moment we toast we toast this moment we are in Ujima, um, um, co um cooperative economics which is i'm sharing my economical skills this is the resource that i'm good at all right just pull shit out and then on, since i'm on day number four shit isn't family we just beginning i'm listen i'm on day four right of this and Guza Saba challenge, right? The the whole fast and peace. I'm telling you, it gets. I get. Pro, it, it's it's. I'm just at the beginning, right? <clears throat> so we toast this moment. Toast the moment, family. I want y'all to recognize that you only operate in the moment. Yeah, you was in the past at one point in time. Yeah, you gonna be in the future, but a lot a lot of us waste our power. Worrying about the future or fretting about the past when the only place we can make any changes in our lives is now. Now. Right? This is why I'm talking about that life care, family. Life care happens in the now. Um, Brother Kwame say, by the way, spoke to older sister and she told me our cousins in Georgia tracked our mother's father's line back to 1772. And see... When we start, and this is another reason I, I want to do this, I wanted to do um, this show, right? Because when people start posting up their family line, we're going to start finding out that we got second and third cousins out here. That we've been around for a while and we didn't even know we was related, right? So, I always say my family line, because I, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to say, boom, boom. Anybody familiar with uh, Miles Brown, anybody? Um, Waltons, Davises, you know what I'm saying? These are all family lines that, that flow into me and through me. What are the family lines that's flowing into you and through you? It's important to know your pedigree. Ain't it a shame that some of us will spend more time learning about our dog's pedigree than we will learning about ours? Right? I know I come from hustlers, gamblers, uh, carpenters, plumbers. Right? Right? You know, so um, Brother Kwame said, almost related to my wife, both by Georgia and South Carolina. Damn, damn, damn. Listen, my people from Georgia and South Carolina, Kwame, on my mother's side. Now, I just found out that my uh, father's side is Alabama. Right? My um, My grandmother, we have relations in Georgia. Geneva. Um, my grandfather is South Carolina, through, and and then then we got then we moved down into uh, Florida, around Kissimmee. You know what I'm saying? So, but the point is, we got to start understanding this stuff, right? Because it's it's deeper than just being able to connect yourself to somebody uh, big and famous. No, dude. That's not even what it's about. It's about plugging into your family line and learning about who you are and possibly helping you identify your purpose in choosing 
to be in this family line and choosing to be born at this time, right? Now, it also, it also plugs you into a whole line of energy because your ancestors strive to protect you. Why? Because they are trying to get back into life through you or through someone that is intimately connected to you that might need the information that you have. Information is currency. Knowledge and wisdom is currency. It's, 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 it's valuable. What's your name and who's your people? I ain't going to give you my government name on, on the thing. Talk to me later, Brother Kwame, but Browns. Right now, on 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 the side that might be connected to you, it's Browns. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Browns. Right? So, you know, we thick down there in, in, in Florida, right? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, so it, it is what it is. Let's build now. So, now we pour libations for our children, our children's children onto affinity. Understanding that we are laying the groundwork for the next generations. And we also lay in the groundwork for our future existence. So if we go out in life crippled and broke down and shit and can't do the work. Oh, what's your name? Who's Oh, that's right. That's right. But then I want you to think about this. Isn't that how we greeted each other back on the continent? You know what I'm saying? This is why. You'll see some cultures where well, they will they they will use their last name first. When you're introducing yourself, you're supposed to use your last name first. So that they can identify the group you come from. We done lost a lot. We done forgot a lot, fam. You know what I'm saying? We done forgot a lot. Right? A lot of us we get in relationships and we might be in relationships with close relatives. A lot of us we might be getting into family lines that we don't need to be in, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't we don't track that type of stuff anymore. It's not important. You know, it's it's not important. You know that you might be marrying an idiot from a long line of idiots. You know what I'm saying? Because they out there. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You, you, you know I'm telling the truth. They out there. You gotta be wary. And because we know now. We got to be checking those family lines when they be coming in trying to date our sons and daughters. Who your mama? <laughs> That's my grandma. Who, who your mama? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As you said, uh, who your people? You know what I'm saying? What's your family? All right, so now, so we toast our children, our children's children onto affinity because we know that everything that we're building right now is for them. Right? Everything that we're building right now is so that they can have a foundation. Let's leave them a foundation and let's connect them to their direct past. Let's connect them to their ancient past. Yes, let them know that their power is in the moment, but let's connect them to the past and let them know that the information that comes from the past can help them build a powerful future. Let's let them know that they are connected to something greater than themselves and something and they they are part of a greatness that they that they can elevate if they choose. All right, so we toast our children and we say Ashe, and from there we move on um, to you. I toast you. I thank everybody for coming out, but I toast you. I toast you in your challenges. I toast you in your joy. Anything, this is like what they call a special libation. Anything that you want, the ancestors are here with us, go on and let it out. You know what I'm saying? Ask for it. You know what I'm saying? It could be as small as um, better gas prices to as great as some major issue that you're dealing with, some health issue. See, because it, you listen, we got to start plugging into our ancestors to start assisting us, right? Because I'm telling you, it's real. So we lift up our glasses and we say, I say, I say, I say, and I say, family, peace. Power in 100 years. Man. Ooh. 
I said original. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, fam, those of you that are interested in learning how to make your own, I got Scobies. Let's talk. Let's get the let's get the brewing. You know what I'm saying? Those of you that want that want some, let me know. I get the brew for you. And also, if you have any special orders, like I I, I could make beat. I mean, I could actually take almost anything and make a drink. Like Brother Kwame want his next order to be when he placed the order. I want to, I ain't saying you placed the order, but when he placed the order, he wanted to be ginseng and black seed. We could do stuff like that, right? Um. I'm no, I'm using the actual black seeds. I'm not using the oil. I'm using the actual black seeds. All right. Um. So, family, I toast y'all. Thank you for stopping in. Make sure you share. I should have said that when it was more people on the line. But, yo, family, hey, y'all have a great and powerful and magnificent day. Um. Let's go out and let's conquer, right? Um. Be listening out for that life care, family, because this is, this whole process is part of life care. Um, let me let me read you a quick definition. I kind of read it a little bit yesterday. Harnessing your life force. Okay, um, life care. Look at that. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, life care is about learning to harness your life force or your eyes shade to increase your peace, power, and joy. Learning to harness your personal energy. Learn to, learn to harness it, right? Right? Now, um, that's a little bit. Because I'm still working on working on the concept because I got to plug it into the whole concept of self-mastery as well. But, uh, hold on. We on day four, family. Uh, the, the process of harnessing the ashe in our lives by the systematic use of life-giving principles. God, isn't that what we're doing? We salute today, Ujama. I'm sharing my resources because I'm creative. I mean, it flows through me. I ain't saying it come from me, but it flows through me. And I be grabbing that shit. I be grabbing it and I be running by. Man, listen, dude. I, this is what I do. This is what I do, right? So, and then like with, with the individuals that be popping on here, I mean, uh, Kwame just, I mean, I, I, I can't, I, I want to do something on fractal geometry. They call that the mathematics of God. And I got, and I consult with my brother on that one, right? Everybody out there got an expertise, right? This is a study session. You know what I'm saying? We salute our ancestors, but it's a study session. And I need people to understand that, man, because I'm not, I, I ain't got time to play. I ain't got time to debate. I ain't got time to argue. You know what I'm saying? It's time to build. You know what I'm saying? Like I said yesterday, if you can't pass it down, stop fucking around. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of us, we're fucking around. We're dealing with things that we can't pass down to the next generation. We're wasting time. You know what I'm saying? We got people, we, we got people passing away, leaving debt to their children. Leave them some knowledge. Leave them some wisdom. I ain't saying you got to leave them money. But leave them better. You know what I'm saying? Leave them better. You, that's, that's our responsibility. That's what we're supposed to do as, 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 as a generational people, as a, as a people of legacy. We got to leave them better. We leaving these kids confused. And then on top of that, if we are not doing life care, we're leaving in a way that traumatizes our children. I'm just saying, look, when I expire, either, either be in a blaze of glory, you know what I'm saying, there's some type of war or something going on, I'm out here, or I'm going to just, and that's, that's, that, that's doable, that's just sitting back, closing your eyes, be like, it's time for me to go. See, I want y'all to think about this, man. This this is the type of people you come from. This is the type of person you are. This is the type of power you have that you can look at life one day and take yourself up to such a level where you look around and be like, I don't belong here no more. And just leave. Just leave. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? You can say bye to your kids. 
You gonna have your last meals. You gonna kick it. And I know that y'all like, but that time you were more, you were romanticizing that. But I'm not romanticizing that. I'm dealing with the reality. We all got to deal with it. My issue is when I leave here, can I leave my children better than when I? Can I leave my children better? And can I give them a good perspective of life? Because I don't want them to think that old age means that you broke down. That's not what it means. We gain, we supposed to gain wisdom. We supposed to gain wisdom. Now, how can I be a dispenser? I'm just saying, man. I'm just like, yo, the stuff we're going through and the stuff we're seeing, we don't have to see. But yo, family, I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, I, I've been on my soapbox. And I gotta get, I gotta do this other part of the show, and I gotta transfer the, these drinks, and I gotta go to the doctor, um, and uh, I will be doing a show. I'm trying to talk to my doctor so that um, when I get my blood test and all that stuff, y'all keep up with it because I want y'all to see some of the effects that that um, that the fasting had. Not, and I keep on stressing. Not that you have to do the Nguza Saba challenge like I do, right? Because I'm like I said, I'm just trying to prove a point. And the point that I'm trying to prove is that if I could do it, almost anybody can do it, right? If I could get up and do that, like I said, there's only four things you need. Breathing, proper air, water, food, and movement. That's all you need to be able to catapult yourself. And harness that Ashe energy and move yourself in the direction that you need to live a long and a powerful life. All right. But yo, I'm out. Peace. Oh, I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are.